Watch you guys got another video. Windows 11 can now fix itself, according to Microsoft, with their new tool called Quick Machine Recovery. I've glossed over this in the past, but it has now finally been released to the general public. We're in version 24H2 here, and it has been rolled out uh, in this version as well. So I thought we'd take a quick look and explain what it can do and what it can't do. And looking at some of the other options available to you in Windows 11. So inside the settings panel here, if we go to the system and then go down to recovery options, you'll see that Microsoft had added a lot of fix it tools over the past. This one's called quick machine recovery. If your device fails to start, we'll try and fix the problem for you. That's basically what Microsoft's approach is here. It's called quick machine recovery. You need to turn it on if you're on the pro versions or above, but if you're on home edition, it will be turned on by default. So the quick machine recovery is focused on recovering your system uh, when it encounters critical errors that prevent the PC from booting properly or it's having some sort of issue. There is a secondary option that says continue searching if a solution isn't found. It will then uh, basically go off and do searches every 30 minutes which is recommended right here and try to find a solution for it eventually there will be some sort of form of database that has been built up by microsoft and other telemetry that has been collected and hopefully with all these remediations that have been collected there will be some form of solution to your problem so if it's a common issue that has been happening with a certain particular say driver issue then Microsoft will have a database of this fix and they will then roll out this fix to you by pushing it down through your Windows updates. So Microsoft say the quick machine recovery can automatically search for uh, remediations online and use that to recover from a widespread uh, boot failure. If you've got some sort of issue, it can try to fix it with some of the uh, remediations that it has in its database. If we open up a command prompt here we can run a test mode on this particular tool so i can show you in action but if you want to customize it you can do and all you need to do is type out this command right here and you can see these are the settings right here that the wi-fi one hasn't been uh, configured yet but you can configure all of this yourself and this is what you're looking at here in the settings panel of windows it's an XML file and you can customize it. I'll show you a tutorial on that in another video. But basically, uh, you can customize this to your own needs. And what it will do is it will use the uh, settings that you have set up here to either automatically uh, recover and fix any problems using the auto remediation uh, tool, or you can use the cloud remediation tool to try to fix problems as well. Now, this is very new technology, and it's probably uh, in testing mode at the moment. Microsoft introduced tools like this all the time, and then they suddenly scrap them. So hopefully, they can do something with this tool, and it will be useful. For instance, if you had a bad Windows update, they could roll out a quick, uh, quick machine recovery using this and fix it. So let's go ahead and run this test mode here. I just want to quickly show you... Uh, what it would look like if you was running an actual test if this was set up as an automated uh, thing it would run in the background if you have it turned on and it would fix something if it was gone wrong so let me just quickly type out this command here to set the recovery test mode and then what we need to do here all of the th this information will be on microsoft's website and i'll leave a link to that article in the video description for you so all i need to do is use the up arrow cursor keys and we can just change this command to the next one, which is boot uh, to, and then we want to do RE. And then when we do this, we can then just push enter and it should say operation successful. Next, we need to shut down the PC and restart to take us into the quick machine recovery tool and allow it to run its test. Remember, this is in just test mode just to show you. But basically what it's going to do is show you basically how it works. So as the machine reboots uh, with the tool turned on, the quick machine recovery tool configured and turned on, it will run through a sequence of tests to try and fix your PC if you had a problem. Now, we don't have any issues right now. And again, if 
the database has got a very common fix for a common problem with Windows 11. It will be able to find that problem and roll out a fix for you and it will come down in your Windows updates. You can see right here it's diagnosing your PC. This looks very similar to what was there before and to be completely honest I've not had a lot of faith in a lot of uh, Windows repair tools that are built into Windows if I'm honest. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. It's connecting to the network. You will need to have an internet connection for this to work. And now what it's going to be doing is looking for a solution to the problem that you might be having with your PC. For instance, if you've just updated Windows and there's an issue and it's known to Microsoft that that was the issue, this will where it will find the solution and it will roll out a fix for you. Now, all of this sounds absolutely fantastic and it sounds like it's too good to be true. Only time will tell and we'll soon see how good the quick machine recovery tool is. Uh, but we're going to have to wait and see because it's in early stages at the moment and it needs a database of fixes to be able to use those fixes to fix a problem with Windows itself. Now, Microsoft have brought out tons of tools in the past and most of them have been pretty rubbish. They haven't really fixed much but hopefully this is different. Now, what you can do is once you've run this tool, if there was a fix or if there is a fix that Microsoft are looking to push out to you, it will be in your Windows Update section and it will show up in the Windows Update history right here and it will be listed right here as the uh, Quick Machine Recovery and it will basically show you right here the fix that they rolled out. Now, this could be a patch that they've already released and you haven't got it installed on your PC and you're still having issues with it. Um, and what it will do is it will push that uh, patch or that update out to you and hopefully your problem will be resolved. It will look something like this. Maybe it's some form of issue that has been known to Microsoft and they already have a fix for that issue and you've now suddenly come across that issue and it will roll out that fix for you. Now, again, like I said, it all sounds really fantastic, but at the moment, uh, there isn't much in their database, so there isn't a lot of fixes all ready to, to go. So don't expect it to fix every single problem that you have with your Windows PC, because it might not. So on their article right here, Quick Machine Recovery, you can see starting with Windows 11 version 24H2, with this particular update model right here, you can see it's already installed as a feature. It will be enabled for home users, but as for pro and above, you will need to enable this feature. And some of the stuff we've talked about here will be all listed in this document right here. I'll leave it in the video description for you. So how good do you think this tool can be? Well, in all honesty, startup repair tool in Windows has always been junk, in my personal opinion. It's never fixed any problems that I've ever had with a PC. In, in all honesty, in all the years that I've done uh, repair work I don't think that tool has ever fixed anything the system restore tool has been quite useful in some occasions where you can quickly roll back if you've installed a driver and you want to roll back but if you're talking about rolling back many many months uh, before that incident then it's not great and it can cause even more problems using the system restore tool there is other tools that Microsoft have released in the past but let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below whether you think any of the tools that Microsoft have released in the past have been any good because in all honesty I haven't had much success with any of them. So that being said there is a full written article here and it shows you screenshots of what to expect uh, when it can't fix issues and when it can fix issues. In the uh, more recovery options you will see a quick machine recovery. This is to get into the uh, recovery console when you boot back into there you can use it from there as well which is where you're probably going to want to run that from and it gives you a full breakdown of what it can do and what it can't do so quick machine recovery is not going to be some sort of magic wand where it fixes every problem known to man because it's just not but i think they're trying to market it that way where basically you're going to have a reboot into the recovery tool which is your quick machine recovery and it's going to do a quick diagnostic on the system and it's trying to find a solution it will say yes or no can it find a solution if it doesn't find one it will tell you it can't fix it and it will constantly try to check to find that solution if it does find it it will then roll out that uh, fix for you and then when you boot up it should be resolved and you can see the configuration part here which is what we talked about i'm not going to go too deeply into this 
in this video, but you can customize it a little bit uh, to uh, get it working the way you want, whether it will be uh, for Wi-Fi and things like that. There's a few commands you can customize to do that. If you want to see that sort of video, then let me know in the comments section down below. Now, I was going to actually try to show you a real live uh, fix with this actual tool, but unfortunately, every time I broke the virtual machine, it just couldn't fix it. And I ended up spending a lot of time, uh, you know, going back and rebuilding the image to try and do another fix, but it just wouldn't fix it. Maybe that's because it doesn't have a lot of these fixes in its database right now, but maybe in the future it will do. And we can take another look at it a little bit later on when it's been around for a while and it has actually got quite a few fixes in its uh, arsenal to fix a lot of problems. And it just shows you a full breakdown of how you can set this up and use it on this website. It is quite a nice written article and it does show you basically all of the settings and how you can uh, verify your recovery settings and configure it and get it the way you want. Hopefully this tool turns out to be a really good tool. I really am hoping that it actually turns out to be a tool that you can use to fix a lot of known issues. Because let's face it, Windows 11 24 H2 has been plagued with problems and hopefully a lot of these simple issues that have been known to Microsoft can be pushed out and fix a lot of these common issues that have been around for a while and Microsoft can then help you fix the problem very, very quickly. So we just run the test mode here and this is how you can do it if you want to try that in a virtual machine. By all means, I'll leave the link in the video description for the article. But basically, yeah, there is a bit about the settings, uh, command prompt and things like that. There's loads on here about the command prompt. I just glossed over that a little bit. If you want to see a separate video, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. That is the quick machine recovery tool. Looks pretty good on paper. We'll just have to wait and see how good it actually is at fixing a lot of issues. Uh, because let's face it, if there is a known issue that you've got that's stopping your PC from booting or causing a problem and you have to go into that recovery console and try to fix it, hopefully Quick Machine Recovery is going to be an option that you can use to fix that issue for you and get you back up and running as quick as possible. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.